Welcome to another video on data to decisions. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through a use case that I had to deal with in a recent project. And I'm going to walk you through the solution that I came up with as my first draft and would like to hear from you on how you would solve this and also uh, your feedback on my solution. So let's get started. The scenario is this. Um, let's say I am the HR recruiter and I have a talent pool database of candidates who have already interviewed or who have already reviewed their resume and have recorded information on their skills. So for example, I have a list of 100 candidates here and all of this data is made up data, um, randomly created data. And the 100 candidates and the, I have their skills specifically 10 different skills and I have recorded them the skill level of each candidate. Now my manager the recruiting director comes in and says we have a new job requisition and she has basically given me a list of minimum skill requirements for the new role. So for example, the minimum skill level for people management is two, account management is three, and so on. So we have skill levels one to five. Now, how do I go about selecting the appropriate relevant candidates and the top candidates for this new job requisition from this database? I'm gonna walk you through my solution now. So what I, done is in seven steps and the first step is to make sure that the data that we source from is in a table structure which is what you see here um, putting that into a table format helps a lot so that's what i did first my step number two is to make sure that the skills um, measurements are in ordinal variables so for example um, these numbers they actually mean an order number one is skill level one which is like a beginner level Skill level two would be intermediate. Skill level three is experience. Skill level four is advanced and five is expert. So five is better than four, better than three, better than two, better than one. So this is what I mean by ordinal variable. As long as the measurements are in the structure, it allows me to do certain things later easily. So this is something I want to make sure in my step number two. Step number three is to create a score for each candidate. Because we put it into a table, that becomes very simple. So I add a simple formula, which will total my score and gives me the cumulative total candidate score for each candidate. Step number four is now we get into how do I extract only the candidates who fit my requirements? So let me go into solution. Here is the list of requirements for the specific job and I uh, I want to make sure that I identify from my database of 100 candidates how many match this minimum criteria. And I've already done a formula which gives me 19 matching candidates. So for example, any candidate with an account management skill of 2 or 1 will not show up in my result because they don't meet the minimum criteria. So there are 19 candidates who fit my requirements. That's my step number 4. Step number five is, let me find the top candidates who are matching the criteria, but let me find the top five. So for example, here I have listed Charlotte, Mia, Sophia, Benjamin, William. These are the five out of the 19 matching candidates. And I, again, we can make it interactive, show me only the top three, uh, top five, but you get the point that we are listing them and then also sorting them by the score. The highest score comes at the top, which means the candidate with the highest overall score will be visible for us. Great. Now, step number six is, I still want to be able to compare these top five candidates because I can't just make my decision based on just one number. I still want more information. And so this is where this dot plot comes in handy. The dot plot shows the skill level, which is one to five as five dots for each of the top five candidates for all the 10 skills. Pretty straightforward. So I have highlighted any expert skills in green color and any beginner level, which is only one level one or the lowest level in orange. So I can clearly see um, what's the weakness, what's the strength for each candidate. For example, Mia has a weakness in Excel in the sense that it's a beginner level skill, um, whereas uh, Mia has strengths in all these because she's an expert uh, in these skills because there are 
five level skills and also it's clearly visible in green color. The final seventh step is I also have a radar chart which shows the top two candidates, so Char Charlotte and Mia, and I'm comparing those skills across these 10 different skills. Now, you can see, for example, Mia is better in coaching and communication, clearly, but Charlotte is better in Excel and account management and sales. So you can see that not all the candidates are going to be exactly the same. And so you will be able to, you know, at least understand and analyze the strengths and weaknesses and make the right decision for the role. And this is why it's not going to be just picked automatically based on the score. All this additional information helps you to do the analysis to pick the right candidate for the role. So this is what I came up with as my first draft solution. And uh, I would like to hear your feedback on this. And also, if you would like this file uh, as a template for you to download, I'm happy to make that available. Please put in your interest in the comments. And also, if you're looking to build similar solutions, or custom developed solutions for your business and business needs, please reach out. We do take on customization projects uh, for companies. So I look forward to hearing from you. Until next time, thank you so much for watching.